Right, so to summarize everything that we have covered in the previous videos, to deal with variety of challenges that we have in our campus area network regarding WAN and LAN, the Cisco came up with the idea of introducing the software defined networking. In the software defined networking, they had these two things like SDA and SD WAN. So as the access, as the access is a solution to manage all the devices in a local area network of the campus and the SD-WAN is the solution to manage all the WAN as devices. These two solutions together, they give us the uh, option to control everything from the LAN and WAN point of view from a centralized point. Nowadays, uh, even the SD-WAN can be integrated with the SDA solution so that you get a centralized GUI and from there you can manage all the rest of the things. As far as the data center network is concerned, ACI is already there for the data center environment. Now, the SDA solution consists of several components. So the SDA solution, if you specifically talk about the SDA solution, SDA solution consists of several components. The heart of the SDA solution is the DNAC, D DNAC uh, appliance, DNAC hardware that you have to purchase uh, from Cisco. It runs on the top of that EPIKM hardware that Cisco used to sell in earlier days. So it runs on the top of that EPIKM hardware and the DNAC is the hardware appliance. At the moment, they have not uh, you know, made it virtual. At the moment, it is a hardware based device that we have to purchase and install into your fabric. This DNA center appliance is going to consist, it is going to have something called network control platform and it has something called network data platform. These two things are there. This DNS center appliance can also be, uh, can be connected with the ICE or ICE can be integrated with the DNS center appliance. The network control platform. From here, we can do all the uh, things related to the configuration management. Like uh, it, it, he, it is where we define our intent. Under the network control platform is where we define our content. You can say this is the automation engine or the as the solution. From here, from this uh, DNA, DNA center, we define our intent and this network control platform is going to uh, deploy our intent into the entire infrastructure. So network control platform is the, auto, it, it handles the automation part of the DNA center. Automation in the sense that uh, we can do the configuration management uh, provisioning of all these devices from the centralized point. As far as the network data platform is concerned, it can be considered as the part providing the assurance in the SDA solution. The network data platform provides you the better uh, visibility of your network. It provides better insights of your network. You can see uh, what different, different type of traffic is flowing from your network, like what devices are uh, healthy, what devices are not healthy, where different, different issues are there. So, from this NDP, this network data platform is the part of the DNA center, uh, is, is the part of the SDA solution which is responsible to provide the better insights of the infrastructure. Uh, and based on those insights, you can, uh, you might try to deploy some policies to control uh, different, different aspects of the network. And the identity services is provided from ICE, like when the user joins in the network, it can be authenticated using this ICE. Uh, platform like ICE uh, Identity Service Engine. When the user one joins, we can define that when the user one joins, it will be allocated with a tag value of 10. When the user two joins, it will be allocated with a tag value of 20. And later on, we can create a policy where 10 cannot communicate with 20 or 10 can communicate with 20 only. We can define these type of policies. Now, even though the ICE can be integrated with the DNA center, it is the DNA center that is going to manage uh, the policies and everything. Okay, we are going to create the policies or define these tags, security group tags and everything from the DNA center appliance itself. Uh, the ICE is just connected to the DNA center appliance. Of course, they will communicate to each other like DNA and ICE are going to communicate to each other and uh, these things like authentication and tagging and everything, policies and everything will be ensured.
Now, other devices that we have in our DNS enter appliance, the, these are like, for example, we have some device. We don't necessarily need to place the DNS enter appliance in a specific branch or like it's not like on per branch basis, we should have a DNS enter appliance. We can connect our DNS enter uh, appliance like anywhere. We can have this DNAC placed in the data center environment. And then using some, you know, transport such as Internet M plus, we can connect this DNS enter appliance to our rest of the fabric. So in a branch, what we can have, we can have certain devices which can be called as the border devices. These border devices are used to provide the connectivity outside the SDA fabric. Uh, maybe, maybe your border devices are going to uh, send the traffic to the internet or take the traffic from the internet to the compass fabric. They can be connected to some other uh, L3 network, other non-SDA managed network as well. See, these border devices are the devices from where your SDA fabric is connected to outside of the SDA fabric. Then we have these edge devices, like we can, let's call that edge device one, edge device two. We have these edge devices here, edge device three. These edge devices are the devices where our wired or wireless users are connected. So we can connect an access point and from here, a wireless user can be connected as well. So these S devices are typically switches of your SDA fabric where the S devices are connected. Now, there is a device called control plane device, which is responsible to keep a track of what S device, uh, what endpoint is connected to what fabric edge device. What endpoint is connected to what fabric edge device. It is going to maintain some sort of database and on that database, it is going to keep this information that uh, the which endpoints are connected to which edge devices. And later on, let's say if the device X wants to communicate with the device Y, uh, the tunnels that is built between the E1 and E2, the logical tunnel that is built between E1 and E2 based on the protocol called VXLAN can be used to send the traffic from X to Y if in the same VLAN, like VLAN 10, VLAN 10. We can have the tunnels from E1 and E3. We can have the tunnels, the VXLAN tunnel. These are the data plane tunnels, VXLAN tunnel, VXLAN tunnel. So data plane encapsulation, uh, data at the data plane, the data is encapsulated with this protocol called VXLAN. We'll talk about that in very detail later on. So data plane is based on VXLAN. VXLAN provides an encapsulation method to uh, send the traffic from one S device to other S device over a layer three network. Remember, we talked about that all these S devices that are connected to each other, it is going to be a layer three connectivity. And over the layer three network, we can still send our traffic from one VLAN to other VLAN. VXLAN provides us that functionality. Now the control plane node are going to maintain this information that what S device is connected to what endpoint. Control plane is a brain. You can say the control plane is your brain of the SDA fabric. It is recommended to have at least like two control planes so that if one goes down, at least you have the other control plane working as well. Typically, these are routers. Uh, we'll talk about like, you know, what, what routers are uh, capable of doing this control plane functionality. Okay. And we also have these WLC, you know, wireless LAN controller, fabric WLC. It does not need to be part of the overlay network. In fact, Fabric WLC does not need to be connected to the SDA fabric. It can be connected anywhere, like in the data center and everything. So the uh, WLC, the wireless LAN controller, is the uh, point that is aware of the SDA. So from this Fabric WLC is going to provide us uh, the management of all the access points that we have connected into our fabric. So this entire, like all these devices that we have here, like uh, control plane node and everything these all these devices that we have here these these this is part of the campus fabric all these like border node devices control plane devices s devices uh, fabric wlc and they could be intermediate devices as well like you know they could be non cisco devices they could be cisco devices they could be some intermediate devices as well. so this uh, in the sda solution this is what we call as campus fabric campus fabric is the overlay network which is built on the top of underlay 
And along with that, we have this DNS enter appliance to manage all the things from the centralized point. So when we talk about the SDA solution, uh, what components we get, we get the DNAC, DNS enter appliance, we get ICE, we get the devices, uh, the underlay connectivity options. We have like protocols such as OSPF ISIS. And when it comes to the overlay, in overlay, the tunnels are based on VXLAN and the control plane functionalities are based on LISP, locator identity separation protocol. So LISP is the protocol which is responsible to uh, manage all these functions. Like what endpoint is connected to what as device. Uh, so later on when if this as device, th this endpoint wants to go to this endpoint, the VXLAN encapsulation can be done properly and everything. So uh, what encapsulation, what things must be added when forwarding the traffic from one as device to the as device that can be managed from uh, the LISP. LISP is going to keep a track of all this information. Then we have like intermediate devices which need, which are not part of the SDA fabric. We have the access points where the end users can connect. The access points and WLC can form the cap web tunnel. We'll talk about that later on. So uh, the overall uh, solution in the SDA consists of all these components. We'll uh, drive deep in the concepts of like what devices can act as the border devices, which devices can act as the uh, control plane devices, border devices. We'll talk about that in, in very detail in the later session. But overall picture of the SDA is in front of you. So this is this is what they were uh, trying to do when we when they say when we say or when they say like uh, uh, the DNS center is going to be the centralized point of control for managing all the LAN devices in a campus fabric. We'll talk about all these other device roles uh, and the layers in the SDA later on in later videos.